Hey guys, welcome back. Adam here with another Sim Hub tutorial, and today we're talking lap times. We are looking at current lap, best lap, estimated lap, and one of my personal favorites, a delta to your best, or I like to use average lap, but I know I'm kind of out of the norm there. Um, so we're going to build this out today as delta to best, and as always, when we create something, uh, I'm going to post a link down in the description below where you can go ahead and download this dash and I'm not going to walk you through it today because it's a little more complex and it takes a lot longer than I want to put into a YouTube video. Um, but I'm going to throw a nice little surprise in today's download um, where not only will you have all of these timers that you can go ahead and use in your own dashboard, you're welcome to copy and paste the code. SimHub is open source, so anything I create is open source. Um, but I'm going to create a little pop-up for our best lap section um, to show you if uh, it was your best lap. And it's also going to pop up for just a few seconds at the end of each lap to show you what that difference was if you set a faster lap time than your previous best lap. Um, and if I can get time, well, maybe I'll have it show your difference if you were slower than your best lap. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and get right into SimHub. Okay. So here we are, we're back in SimHub. We're gonna create a new dashboard. We're gonna call this one, you gotta capitalize the T, YouTube timers. We'll click okay. Here's our fresh screen. I wanna always, uh, first thing I do, 480-272, because that's the size of my USB D480 display. And there we are. Okay, so what's the first timer we want? Uh, I think the first timer we're going to want is our current lap time. So let's grab a text box real quick. And we're going to give this oh, our usual size 16 font because I tend to really like that. And we're going to call this current lap. And I want to name this to... Current lap name, I can't type. There we go. All right, so this is our current lap area. This is what we're going to call it. So our current lap, and we're going to grab another text box. We're going to move it right next to it, and we are going to call this our current lap timer. And I know I didn't type that right again. There we go. Current lap timer because this is going to be in minutes, minutes, colon, seconds, seconds, period, dot, dot, dot. All right. Now, oh, we also want to change this. Size 16. Oh, that is really tiny. Let's make that much more legible. About 24 sounds like a good even number. All right, so there we go. So here is our current lap, but we need our function. So let's go back into the main SimHub screen, uh, available properties, and let's do current. And I like to use for current lap data core plugin current lap time. So it's right here. We're going to highlight it. We're going to copy the name, and we will come over here to our text going to be a computed value so as always we'll add our brackets and format is going to be minutes seconds and fractions of a second if it takes you more than an hour to finish a lap i i, I don't know what to tell you all right so there is our current lap timer very simple very straightforward that is the easiest one here that we can do Let's go with next, our best lap. All right, we're going to do this as 16. I'm going to call this best lap name. Add our text, best lap. And actually, what I should have done to save myself some time that I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this. Resize this box a little bit, copy it, paste it, and now everything is identical. We'll kind of move that around, except we need to change this function. 
We'll go back into sim hubs instead of current. We want best. And for this one, I like to not use the data core plugin. I like to come down to, eventually I'll get down here, persistent tracker. And persistent tracker, let's see, session best. That's the one that I want to use. Copy the name, come back over here, and we're gonna replace current lap time with session best. All right, there we go. There is our best lap time. Now, let's do something really cool with best lap time. Let's bring this down here and let's put a little box around best lap time. I don't know, kind of something like this. You can play with it as you wish. Um, I'm just throwing it out here for right now. I don't like the way that looks though. We're gonna center this so it kind of looks like it's nice and neat and even. And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna have this change color to the box that surrounds or encloses our best lap time. I'm gonna put a little function in here that's going to have it turn green to show our personal best lap. Um, and then a very cool function that I will put in here as well for you to go ahead and use. Um, if you are best overall in a session, that box is going to turn purple for you. So if you're a fan of, you know, the real world ILMS stuff, any kind of endurance racing, you are very familiar with what purple means. Uh oh, what did I do here? I was trying to copy it from my notepad and I hit the wrong button. So we've got our box highlighted and what we want to do for our background colors, we want to click the function and we wanna do a computed color for this one. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through this function. Um, we do need to add a middle color though, and that middle value is going to be zero again. And we're gonna make the middle color green. We wanna make the end color purple. Let's make this a little darker green and I can't quite see it over my monitor here all right we're gonna click okay so now when we hit a best lap it's gonna be green if it's our personal best um purple if we're best overall and like i said without walking through that function it's there for you to play with all right so what else do we want to have i'm gonna grab both of these copy bring them down here and paste them so this is now our oh you know what i didn't do Let's name this one Best Lap Border. And again, I like to hold down the caps or the shift key. Current Lap, Best Lap. I'm going to name this one to Best Lap Timer. We're going to name this one to Estimated Lap. And we'll come down here estimated lap all right we need to expand this a little bit that's all good and well all right so now to get um our estimated lap we've got to go back over to here and let's type persistent tracker plugin estimated lap time and all i had to do is type estimated in the search it came up so we'll copy the name and we'll just replace our function over here from what uh, we copied earlier. And there we go. Now it's going to show us our estimated lap time. Um, you might not want to have all of these on the screen at once. You might want to put them into a widget and cycle through them. So one of the things I like to do for estimated lap time is I want to put another border around this. And I want to have estimated lap highlighted green if I am on pace to set a new personal best lap. So let's go ahead and do that with this box right here. So again, we're going to highlight the background color. We're going to do a computed color. We want it to go green if we are on our best. And I'm going to copy this function again right off of my notepad. It's here for you to play with. Um, all this does is it looks at, this is much simpler, so I'll walk you through this one real quick. Um, basically, if you are 
really slow or if you're in the pit lane, the background for this box is going to be black. That's kind of what these first couple lines are saying. However, these last two lines are what's important. If you are faster than your current personal session best, the box will turn green for the estimated lap time. Pretty straightforward. Hmm, what else could we possibly want? Oh yeah, my personal favorite, Delta. I'm going to put this over here though. I'm going to create a brand new text box and I'm going to make Delta really big because that's my favorite. I'm going to name it Delta Text. Delta. And I don't want it to be a size 50. That's a little obnoxious. We'll just make it 30. So there we go. Delta, Delta. And now we want this. Then this is a little more complex of a function. So for Delta, we want to bring in another text box. And this is going to be another timer field. So it's going to be, you know, minutes, oops seconds and our fractions or hundredths thousandths of a second we'll go ahead and hit enter on that let's make it not so big so we can actually fit it on the dashboard here and we'll center it just to make it look a little cleaner within our highlighted box. And now what we wanna do is we want to apply a function to this. So we're gonna open up our function tool. It's going to be a computed value. And this one, I'm just gonna copy it right from my notepad. Persistent tracker plugin. Oh, my mouse just took a dive. Session best live delta seconds. So this is just looking at our best lap time and it's going to report out the seconds. We want it to display if we're way behind. No, we don't care about minutes. We just want seconds, really. So we're going to do this. In fact, since we only want seconds, we can come back over here and get rid of that and make our delta look a little cleaner. Now, I think what we want to do is we want to know not by looking at a number, but by looking at a color because colors are easier to see very quickly if we are going fast or not. We're going to put a box around our delta, kind of make sure it's centered, and we are going to add a background computed color, and again, this one's just going to go to green. No middle color needed here, and I'm not going to walk through this function. It is pretty straightforward. It's just a basic if statement. Um, saying that if I am faster, similar to estimated lap time, it's going to turn the box green. Pretty simple enough. So there we go. Um, I'm going to group all of these in current lap name, current lap timer to current lap. And if you don't know what I just did there, all I did was I highlighted the items I want to put into a group. And then I hit control G and it groups them into layers. And then I can expand them and click on the individual items. And the beauty of grouping is now I don't have to grab all of these at once to move them. Like if I grab estimated lap, only estimated lap will move. If I highlight this, I can move all of this anywhere I want. And I can then do groups within groups and just move everything all at the same time. I prefer to use widgets for that. It's a little cleaner. Uh, and then it gives you the ability to, to cycle through multiple displays. So there you have it. Um, that's kind of it for lap times. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Help some more people find this. Um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit before I post it over to the Google Drive. But again, the link will be down below. And if you got any questions, post them in the comments. I will do my best to make sure I read them all. And I will go ahead and post more videos based on what questions you guys have. Uh, I'm starting to kind of run out at this point, which is fine with me. Um, I'm busy enough as it is, but um, I like getting the feedback that these videos are helping. Um, and if they're not, let me know what I can do to, to help you guys out. So that's it for today. Thank you.